We're at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight Sheboygan North visits Sheboygan South in the first of the War by the Shore games. Uh, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, our first game is going to be the girls. South comes in 1 and 10. They've really been struggling this year. North comes in 8 and 4, which sounds pretty impressive, but only 4 and 4 in conference. What do you see uh, happening in this first ball game? Well, unfortunately for Sheboygan South, on paper, as you just said, it, it looks like a total mismatch. Uh, South struggled this year uh, a lot, and uh, they've really been struggling against conference foes and things like that. So, one thing it is, it's a North South game. You never know, you know, girls get, no, you know, kind of nervous and stuff. For Sheboygan North, they've kind of had this team that, you know, they've had struggled with some of the upper teams in the league. They're kind of like in the middle of the pack a little bit. They are 4 0 in their non conference games, but, you know, they're kind of just like in the middle of the pack this year. But on paper, it looks like a, a one side of the fair, but you never know. Now, behind us, we all like collaboration, right? Behind us, we have the uh, combined North. South Pep Band. South is directed by Wade Heinen. North is directed by Gene Curry. So uh, listen to them in the back row while we try and hear each other. Uh, they had a nice little uh, profile on uh, Kiara Dolman, and uh, she's a big kid. She's one of the kids that uh, South was going to have to handle tonight. Yeah, she's fourth in the league in scoring, Marty. She leads the league in steals, rebounds, and blocks. So she almost needs every category statistically. So just an outstanding season. You know, really special. You know, you don't get girls like that in our community all the time that have such great stats like that. So if nothing else, focus in a little bit on her. And, you know, like I said, she's, she, she's having a real good year as well. Mackenzie Marver comes in with a 12.2 scoring average. She's really pretty tough, pretty good scorer. That's one girl that uh, North is going to have to pay attention to. Yeah, and that's something that, you know, it's, as bad as the season has, it's one of the things I was going to say. Mackenzie Marver's having a real good season. 12 points a game. Ashley Wyman, uh, another person who we've seen over the last couple of years playing some basketball. She's third in the league in rebounding. So South's got some players. I think a very important thing for South is taking care of the ball, not turning the ball over, you know, leading for extra shots and opportunities like that, because you know the North girls are going to come after them. Now, as a coach, you always, when you have a kid, you know, a team at the beginning of the season, you don't want that to be the same team you end up with at the end of the season. Uh, Justin Bingham is hoping for that with his kids, uh, one in ten, but you'd like to see improvement as you move through the season. Well, there's no doubt about that, and you know, like I said, it's been a struggle for them, and you know, just trying to get better in that and keep morale up. I mean, they've had some tough, tough, tough losses this year, which we'll talk about later on, because I'm not happy about some of the scores. But you're right, just trying to get a little better. They did have a victory against San Francis uh, just a couple weeks ago, so just trying to keep morale up a little bit. And they, you know, there is two months left of the season. All right, we're gonna step out, and we come back. We'll have the uh, opening lineups and the tip-off for our first ball game tonight. Give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. throw away money on wasted electricity you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it saving energy saves you money learn more at energysavers.com your fairy godmother it doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything especially when it comes to car seats 
always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. Oh, that does make a difference. <laughs> Remember, their happily ever afters are in your hands. To find out more, visit safercar.gov. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sheboygan South High School. Tonight's game features the visiting Sheboygan North Golden Raiders against your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. To honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask that you stand if you are able. Please remove your hats and headwear. Place your hand over your heart for the playing and singing of the national anthem by the Sheboygan South and North Pep Band. Thank you. One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal and expectation for all in attendance at tonight's game. Please remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. And now, let's meet the starting lineups first for the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders. Sophomore, number four, Julia Scheringer. Junior, number 10, Mary Schmidt. Junior, number 20, Kylie Girock. Senior, number 42, Kiera Dolman. And junior, number 44, Mariah Plotz. Head coach, Eric Spillman. And now your starting lineups for your Sheboygan South High Red Waves. Junior number three, Katie Bainey. Junior number 12, Ashley Wyman. Sophomore number 20, Emily Bridges. Junior number 22, Mackenzie Marver. And junior number 24, Amy File. The officials for tonight's game, Russ Miller, Steve Steiner, Jeff Volen, our official scorer, Michelle Walters. These individuals are registered by the WIAA. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Our athletic trainers tonight from North, Jeff Lenz, Chris Lenz, I'm sorry, Chris, and Dave Stecker, both from Provea Sports Medicine. Sim Safford giving us the uh, pregame announcements and lineups. 
Dahlman controls the tap, and we're off and running here at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Dump down into Platts. Her hook shot is off, no good. Rebound goes to South Ashley Wieman, Wyman. Right away, right into the post, Marty. That was a nice play there that North had coming out, out of the gate. Just didn't get it to fall. One thing that uh, North has an advantage on is height with uh, Dahlman and Platts, and uh, that high-low action is uh, be pretty effective. North and a man-to-man -man deep two-point attempt is uh, no good by uh, Benny. Dahlman with a rebound. Platts trying to go to the basket, but was prevented from doing that. Drive through the lane, and the shot is up and in by Kylie Girak. Well, we talked about it earlier. I'd like to see South get opportunities at the basket. They got two shots the first time, Marty. And as long as they control their turnovers, I think they can hang in here for a while. Inside shot is uh, no good by uh, South Mackenzie Marver. Plotz loads up a three-point attempt. It's no good. Dahlman got the offensive rebound. Drive to the hoop, and the shot is up and in by Julia Scheringer. She's going to try for the three-point play, Chris. Justin Bingham not agreeing with that call. Already Norse getting real deep on South. Couple drive and penetrations. South's gonna have to close up that middle of that lane a little bit better. Uh-oh. Almost. Almost a turnover that time by Wyman, but she's able to keep her pivot foot down. Jump shot in the middle of the lane is up and in by Emily Bridges. And South is on the board. Potts looked to line up the three, but put it on the court floor instead and drove it to the hoop for two. Right, once again, getting to the paint, Marty. South, our north shots are all nice and easy. Scramble on the floor, and we get a tie-up. We're going to get a foul. I think they're going to get bridges there, Marty. Yep. She had a shot attempt, Marty, and then a hustle attempt. She kind of went over the back, kind of jumped in the pile, I guess you could say, which is normally good hustle play. The problem with that fall is it's her second already. Wow. And there's, uh, that was the 15-30 mark. Well, they got one on each, I don't know. I agree, I don't know what, maybe uh, I missed I take it. that back. I was looking at the points instead of the falls. She only has one. Wyman has the other fall. There's that early Into turnover. The steal. Oh, oh, there's a travel. Dahlman had uh, a teammate over on the right side. Sharing her, that's where the ball should have went. Six to two early on, 15 minutes left in the first half of our first ball game. It's a double header. Boys will be next. Shot is blocked by Scheringer. There it is, nice and deep again. Dahlman trying to use that chicken wing to get around the defender, but couldn't <laughs> quite make it all the way. Norse getting nice shots in the lane. South's defense has got to improve a little bit. Here's another one. Coleman with a nice move to the right. You mentioned in the opening, first in the league in rebounds, blocks and steals, and fourth in. Coleman with another steal. Scored and said she leads the league in steals. Ball's number three, Katie Bain, Chris Bristol, 
Benny with the foul. And the team foul situation. South has three already. North, none. North in a tide for fourth in their league. Four up, four down. Deep three ball off the glass and in by Julia Scheringer. And there's a quick timeout by Coach Bangleman. Unfortunately for South, what could happen or thought could happen has happened, and that's a, a, a slow start by the Red Wing ladies. I was thinking, Chris, you know, if they could keep it close, you know, like they were at the beginning of the first couple of possessions, a lot of passing, make a move around on defense. You know, as long as you can stay close, you got a chance. Yep. You know, and they're getting some shot attempts, but now the last two trips have been a couple turnovers, and uh, I have uh, North with a good start, five of seven shooting, so <laughs> it's a bad combination uh, for the South ladies already. Justin Bingham in red, Eric Spielman in the tie. By the way, Chris, you look real nice in your black shirt, and orange well, and black, and multicolored tie. We're trying to be uh, neutral, a little bit neutral. <laughs> Thinking like Plymouth tonight. I was in Plymouth last night. There's another turnover, Marty. If you can catch it and pass it. You can be a basketball player. Yep. Good defense, though, but they're going to say too much defense there on Barrington. Another follow on so. When did you get back, Marty? I just flew in from uh, Phoenix, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> we got home about 2.45. Okay. Hope you didn't talk much on the plane so you could talk tonight, Marty. Not too much. No, I was reading a, reading a book on my phone. In the paint. with the left hand this time draws the fall. She'll be shooting a pair. You'd almost think that maybe a zone would help or, you know, back off a little bit on those players. A bit because things are just too easy for North right now. Yeah, really. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Dolman. Nice rebound. That was a good one. 12-2. Another steal. And a good pass inside. Layup attempt is up and in by Meredith Opie. That was a nice pass there by Katie Bouchard. That's what Dahlman should have done. Another timeout by South, their second oh, one. Not Katie Bouchard. Uh, Kayla Kirchner there. In an interesting situation, Chris. We have uh, the War by the Shore tonight, two games, and uh, next week, Friday, we got uh, Lutheran over at Christian for the uh, Holy War by the Shore. And it's only an annual now because right. they have too many teams in their league, which is kind of sad. You would almost think they like to play a non-conference game against each other, but in their conference, they I do. I talked to Al Holzheimer. He said they're trying to uh, maybe, not this year, obviously, but maybe next year have a non-conference matchup between the two, so they get two and... Right. Now, they could play each other. They do have a conference tournament. Yeah, you're right there. And so they could end right. up playing each other in, yep. in that thing. Uh, but uh, looking forward to that on Friday night. Already, we're halfway through January. We, kn we know that because of the weather. By the way, as a TV station, we are uh, one, two, three, four... Four and three only. Let's pick it up a little. Well, we pick up a couple wins tonight. <laughs> and uh, next Friday. <laughs> yeah, and next Friday. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, we'll be seven and three. <laughs> Looking pretty good. <laughs> Look at that smothering defense there. Whoa. Well, you mentioned it in the opening, I think. I saw your lips move. Yeah. <laughs> that band was, the bands were pretty loud. But uh, South has got to... Uh, Cut off the uh, turnovers. A bump on the layup attempt, but no call. Hopi, and another turnover, Chris. Just 
Too many. More turnovers and minutes played, I'm sure about sure of that. At the 13 minute mark. Look at the post position. Good post position there by Mariah Potts. Potts with a good rebound. Rebound shot is no good. Putback is up and in by Kylie Girak. 16 to 2. Three ball is no good. Taking that shot was a Mackenzie Marver. Dolman had the ball tipped away and a scramble. North comes away with it. Three ball is no good. That attempt by uh, Opie, but North comes away with it again. Plots with it on top over to uh, Dahlman. Nice. Nice pass and a good layup by Plots. Good uh, footwork that time. It's like uh, North went to a zone, Chris, and uh, South is really having a tough time with that. Bridges comes back in. North, we mentioned the opening, eight and four. They have four non-conference wins. They've beaten uh, Port Washington. They played Milwaukee Mesmer, I believe, at the Bradley Center, Marty, which was a nice little trip for them. And then they uh, played Oostburg and Wisconsin Lutheran, so those are their four non-conference victories. That's a pretty tough competition. And uh, they do have wins against Southwest, Manitowoc, Pulaski, and they've already played Southwest a second time, so they are already flipped their schedule, except for a couple of makeups they have because of the weather. File picks up the foul. South with six fouls and zero for North. The scoreboard is pretty lopsided. Nothing going right right now for the ladies in white. Ooh. We got a good shot of uh, Meredith Opie. Knocks home a couple of free throws. North has made three of five so far in the ball game. Doing that zone attack there. Oh, another turnover. No answer. And Opie with a layup. And another timeout by Justin Bingham. Well, seven minutes in. Full time out, guys. Let's take a short break. the lamp in your room you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent there are thousands of children in foster care who will take you right. <laughs> back at south high school's acuity field house uh, justin bingham calling his third time out of the half chris it's uh girls are really having a hard time yep gotta take care of the basketball keep shooting it up there get somebody in the middle there against that zone that uh Last PSA where the dad is walking around with the drill, that was me last night in Arizona, <laughs> drilling holes. Hopefully in the right place. They were in the right place. My wife had her eye on me. <laughs> Made sure I was doing it right. Good job there. I'm breaking that double Good team. swing. Good shot. Ball just wouldn't go down, and we got there a foul go. on North. And uh, going to the line for the Lady Red Wings will be Ashley Wyman. Well, Marty, last week you were gone. We had a game here against uh, Southwest, a boys game. Coach Desatel was here. Coach Christensen and his brother. <laughs> really? Coach Rosowski. We had uh, 
It was Coach the place Schumann. to be. Coach Schumann was here. Wally Recolitis and his wife, Grace. Were there any parents? <laughs> it was a who's who. And of course, uh, Leroy Hamilton, the coach at Sheboygan Falls, and as a son on the team, helped me out. It was, it was a who's who of basketball. And I wasn't even here? Nope. Opie for three, no good. It was a cold day, Marty, I'll tell you that. So people came to the... I wouldn't know. Came to the... Uh, Came to the uh, game instead. That was a good kick down pass by uh, Dahlman to uh, Opie, and she puts it in. Meredith Opie. Meredith Opie with eight points already, Chris. She's got a third in North scoring. There you go, yes. Ball was tipped, but Wyman put it up and in. Ashley Wyman. Ashley Wyman, a junior. Just Four seniors on South squad. Putting it up for three but not hitting it was uh, Allison Shetter. The ball's tipped away. South will keep it. Lady Red Wings come in tonight with a 1 in 10 record. 0 and 7 in league. North is 8 and 4. 4 and 4 in conference. Doesn't look like they're going to be uh, threatening or vying for a conference title this year, Chris, uh, with those four losses already. Yep. Well, the league is uh, to peer. Has climbed back to the top after a year off. They're nine and one. Eight. Bayport is eight and one. Ashwaubenon on five and two. And then you got a host of teams. Notre Dame, Pulaski, and North at four and four, and uh, we'll talk about the pier in a little bit. I have a little whining to do, Marty. I'm good at that. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't whine at tennis. I. Uh, well, well, you, you just don't. Just to my you partner. <laughs> well, you don't do it out loud. <laughs> That's true. They don't do it out loud. That's correct. Or trying to get in the paint, and they do again. Wow. wow. A lot of dribbling, but a good layup by Julia Scheringer. Eight fifty left. Shoot it! North trying to double the ball whenever nice possible. Swing. Yeah, it was a good skip pass. They just can't buy a hoop. Ball goes off Kiara Dahlman. South will keep it. Emily Bridges is going to toss it in for the Lady Red Wings. Just two of 12, Marty. And another turnover on South, Chris. If you're giving them to individuals, that would have been on. I had it. Okay. <laughs> There's a shot. And um, miss. South very aggressive on their blockouts after shots, Chris. You got to follow underneath. We'll have to see what uh, all this plays out. I think they're going to get Katie Bainey on that one. Yeah. Her second. Bainey with two. Isabel Barrington with two. And Michaela Kircher with two for North. Kylie coming in at five points per game. She's already got five, Marty. Two games already this season have uh, been canceled on Friday nights, Marty. That's uh, well, I remember very the one. Rare. What was yeah. the other one? December that was and then uh, Tuesday the other day. There was lots of ice, okay. so Tuesday nights games were all called off as well. You see, the football game was uh, canceled, too. Or moved, I should say, the Kansas City game. No basket. They're calling the foul on the What's floor. What's that now? I didn't hear that. 
Kansas City and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is Tonight. played uh, after the Packer game tomorrow. Really? Yep. I did not hear that. Bridges picks up her second. I went over to Cons Floral just so I could see some green stuff, Marty, not like you. <laughs> it was green out by me. It was green inside that greenhouse. <laughs> Shot no good, and Plot's not able to control it. Goes all off, off of her. I thought I'd, uh, you know, get the smells and the, what yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And it was really warm. Warm. I went in by the flowers, and it was cold. And I thought, you know, let's go outside. You know, it's just as cold outside as it was by the flowers. Nice uh, inbounds play there. Amy File with the basket for uh, South. It's uh, 27 to 7. We have another full timeout. We'll take a short break and be right back. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules, you tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a little gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You asked them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Our crew tonight, we have Scott Mailoff and Eric Wiesman uh, co-directing. Richard Bartson is up by us running camera one. Greg Zablocki down on the floor running camera two. Student helpers are Corey Greer and Sergi Molitor. They're both juniors here at uh, South High School. And they take a class here, right, Marty? They take Mr. Mailoff's uh, broadcasting class. Yes, they do. And don't interrupt me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to say it's a nice, nice opportunity, you know, to expand uh, people with those interests maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not just for us, but maybe they work someplace, network TV someplace. When I think back to my high school days, you know, there was a class that a couple guys took. It wasn't real, a real big thing at the time, but I, I wish I would have done it was uh, take home ec, you know, learn about cooking and all that kind of thing. All I'm good at now is uh, frozen pizza and TV dinners. <laughs> South shooting just 21% from the floor. Trailing by 20. Currently, seven and a half minutes, Marty. 7.34 left in the first half. And a pretty quick half of basketball. Yep. Good idea. Just gotta execute that little bounce pass. Right plan, just need to get that pass in there a little better. You can tell there's a lot of inexperience uh, from the South girls. They just don't look real comfortable making some of the plays that uh, you would think varsity players should be able to make. Shot off the glass is no good by Bouchard. Yep, she's one of my former students, Marty. Look at that, coast to coast. Oh, just can't finish. Gallman leading the break right down the middle. She takes it to the hoop and scores. That was pretty sweet, Chris. Once again now, that she had that wide open lane. Good drive. Dolman with a block and she gets it back. Leads the conference in blocks, Marty. Well, helping herself out. Plots with a three-point attempt is no good, and then she's fouled on the block out, and she's going to get three free throws. Committing that foul was Isabella Barrington, her third. Plots averaging 13-2. She's uh, fifth in the conference, Marty, in scoring. And uh, fourth in rebounding. Look good on that free throw attempt. She has eight points. Four, 
five points for Plotts. Make it six. Oh, she did it. The trifecta. <laughs> Got the roll there. South St or North still coming out with that aggressive zone. That's a good pass and deep. Bowman, uh, I think, is going to get the fall that time. Yeah. Wyman, nice catch. Go to the basket. North with uh, four team fouls. South has nine. Wyman's first free throw attempt is good. And she gets the second. 32 to nine. 620 left. Oh, a nice feed inside. Plotz couldn't get the layup. It's an easy one. Yeah, Wyman with the uh, strong rebound. Three ball is uh, no good. That shot attempt by Marver. She's averaging 12, a little over 12 a game, Chris. She doesn't have any points yet. Yeah, I don't remember even mentioning her name, Marty. She's got three shot attempts. No fouls, no points. There's a couple of shot attempts, like Chris mentioned, but uh, that's about it. Yeah. There she goes. Never shot is no good. Good rebound, though, by a file, and then uh, a whistle. We got a turnover, possible traveling. Chris, nice. there's a travel. Yeah. Uh, Chris, if. Uh, you're a coach like Justin with a team that uh, hasn't been very successful. What do you do to keep the girls involved? Well, you know, I think you committed? just, you said it right from the, in the opening that, you know, you got to keep them motivated. Got to make sure what we're doing is to improve. Obviously, we're not always seeing the results, but uh, you got to try to motivate them to come to practice, do different things. Uh, try to make practice fun. You know, I like that idea. You know, different, you know, not... You can do a lot of basketball things that are fun, too. There's uh, games and things and skills that you can work on. I think it was important that they got a victory this year, Marty. Right. I think I told you this story. I mean, one, of the, one thing I will say, and I'll, I'll mention it in a, in a, in a, at our next break, Marty, when there's free throws or something, is that was something filed, that is by the way. De demoralizing a little bit. Oh, <laughs> almost. Rolled around, rolled around. Just one come back in. Uh, this year, DePier beat the South girls 98 to 16. I feel that that is so unsportsmanlike, it's not even funny. And it's just uh -huh. another case. Hey, you're leading the league. If you're going to 98, that means you're trying to get to 100. Right. Can't, can't you win at 70 to 16? Do you have to go to 100? And. You know, that's just, you know, the WIA sometimes, you know, to try to make these rules, we do have running clocks and things like that. Right, but, yep. You know, that's the type of, you know, losses that are, are painful. You know, but then there's coaches out there, you know, that, you know, don't, you, there's no reason you can't pass the ball around the outside or do something. And I'm not trying to degrade the South girls and their team, but that's just, I don't think that's very classy when you're running John scores Schumann like that. John didn't want his team to score 100 points. Uh, when he was coaching, I remember there were some opportunities, but uh, you know he told them, "Don't get 100." Hey, it's one thing if it's 100 to 92. <laughs> well, Another thing when it's right. 98 to 16. You know that's just not not necessary. You know, North calls a 30-second timeout. The game is that way. You know, I don't know. That's I was going to relay a, a, an experience I had as a coach uh, one of my years over at Chilton in, with baseball. We were 0-19 as a team, and uh, 
We won our second last game of the season, but I guess my point is the kids always hung in there, you know, and I, and I think to a certain extent, as much as you can make a winless season up to that point, fun, you know, we, we tried to do that. And, uh, of course, when you're not under the gun for having to win, you know, a lot of guys get to play, and you yep. can play them more often maybe than you might if you uh, were vying for a conference championship. But uh, I like the idea that you mentioned, you know, keep it fun for the kids. Oh, there's Don't be yelling at them all the time. Right, and improving and working on skills. And... Uh, by the way, that coaches. year, <laughs> we won the second last game of the year, and then we won our first tournament game. We had a bye in the first round of the tournament, and we won our first sectional game. <laughs> so we were playing to go to state <laughs> with one win on the regular season. <laughs> you talk about being fun at the end of the year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anything can happen. So I said that in the opening, too, here. It's not so far been the way for the Lady Red Wings as they got off to a slow start, but... I think if they would have you know, kept it close in the beginning, a quick start by North, they were, they hit five of the first seven shots and South couldn't find the basket right away. But last couple of minutes, they've been hanging in there. Too many fouls for South, too. Yeah, really. It's just adding up to the problems. Uh, in the game, when we weren't looking, Chris, we got to mention her, Cubanita lopez Tegui, number 21 in the ball game. And uh, Cuba, that's what, that's what she goes by. She's averaging seven and a half points a game. Oh, a nice pass. Yep. Wyman with a good layup. That was sweet. 34 to 13, three and a half left. Good pass. Opie's had a nice half of basketball, scored some points, did some other good things. There's Cuba lost it on her way to the basket. I talked with uh, Justin Bingham prior to the game just to make sure we're pronouncing her name right. And she said she goes by Cuba to her friends, so we'll call her that too. We're a friendly group up here. <laughs> Good job. Defense there, much better. Deep three that time is no good. Wyman with the rebound. Bainey bringing it up. I have seven rebounds already for uh, Wyman. Wyman. Mentioned in the opening, she's third in the league in rebounds. Good cross court pass. Shot attempt by. Uh, Luma is no go. good. Cuba Lopez Tegui with a basket. Hey, South is starting to get their sea legs, Chris. Another bad turnover by North. They're getting a little sloppy. It was a 20 point lead. Now down to 19. Marvers pass inside, oh, reverse try. layup is no good by Luma. Janita Luma couldn't get it to go. Wyman's going to go back to the line. Good try in that reverse by Luma, the junior. This is the third trip to the line for uh, Ashley Wyman. No more knee bend. Ashley. I get a little more arch on it. She's made three out of five so far. See if she can make it four out of six. She does. 18 point lead for the Raiders and thrown out of bounds. Making that turnover was Michaela Kircher. Mary Schmidt steps out. Katie Bichard in the ball game. 1-3-1 it looks like. Mario. Oh, looks like man, they're manning up. 
Good pass inside. Lopez to Gee for two and she's fouled. Now those were the kind of shots South got at the beginning of the game that they just couldn't put in, but here in the last couple of minutes, they're starting to make them, Marty. It's a seven point run. If Cuba makes this one, it's an eight point run. Oh, nice jinx in there, Marty. I wasn't trying. Dolman, little hook shot in the lane is no good. Good passing by North. Good patience, nice reversal. One more pass, should have been there. Kick out pass, the plots, her wow. rainbow three is down. Nice pass there by Dolman though. I thought she got a little bit too deep. Under a minute left in the first half. And we get a foul. That one's going to go on to Mary Schmidt. We'll put South at the line. Just think it, Marty. It wasn't too long ago that uh, Coach Bingham and Spielman and us were all playing basketball together. Justin said he doesn't play during the season, but uh, he tries to get out there uh, after the miss, season and play. They play it on Saturdays now. And I talked to uh, Coach Aubrey? Hamilton about that. Okay. Oh, we, I miss playing a little bit. Got to make the free throws, though, girls. You always wanted to have Leroy on your team. <laughs> <laughs> a foul. I'm not sure what happened. Foul number 24, Foul gets her second. Foul Marty and Dahlman's back to line. She's just got five points. Does Kiara Dahlman, but uh, I have her for six rebounds so far. I got her a one for two trip early in the ball game, and uh, if she can make this one, it'll be another one for two trip. There's a good shot at Kiara. Nice prep profile of her the other day in the paper. The only thing I didn't like about it was her favorite class wasn't Jim. <laughs> There's a nice shot. Oh. oh, it rims in and out. Right string, wrong yo-yo. Deep pass to Dolman with a good catch and a layup. Plots with the great pass and then Dolman comes through with the hoop. Ball's tipped away with 11 seconds left, but Plot's not able to gather it in. There's 9.1 seconds left in the first half. Schmidt coming back in. Marver's got it, six seconds. Dahlman with a step out, good D, and taps it away. And we're at halftime, North on top, 40 to 18. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at Energy Savers. Got a quarter? Yeah, I'll
Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. it's totally mm -hmm. true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? The parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it.
Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Back at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to start second half action. Uh, North started the game with a 22-2 run, and uh, from that point forward, it was uh, pretty even, Chris. South had a seven-point run near the end of the half before South bounced back to score uh, eight straight points. Uh, what do you got on the turnovers and the rebounds and some of those things that you keep track of? Uh, I got North 14 of 31 from the floor, Marty 45%, 2 of 11 from 3, and they turned the ball over 7 times. Uh, Sheboygan South, unfortunately for them, they had 15 turnovers, and that kind of led to their shot differential between North and South a little bit different. They were 7 of 24, 29%. They didn't make a 3 in that first uh, half. Uh, I like the way that South was at least doing what they were doing in the beginning, getting down deep, and they're making some baskets at the end. Uh, they struggle with that, a little bit of that zone attack uh, pressure, so see if North's gonna probably come out with that right away, try to try to put this game out of, out of reach early. And uh, South, they're gonna have to counter and take care of the basketball and uh, get the ball to the middle of the floor or to one of the wings instead of uh, going into that trap. Seem like uh, most of the turnovers by South had to do with passing. Yeah, you know, just not making good passes. Yeah, they struggled from the floor early too, and made some baskets late. Uh, when you think about it, North was five of seven in their opening, and uh, since that time, you know they they've only hit nine of 24. So they struggled from the floor as well as the uh, Lady Raiders. Schmidt guarding a. Uh, Bainey, and a there good feed go. inside, but uh, a tough time handling the ball. Marver with a shot just outside the free throw lane, couldn't get it to go. She's had a tough night tonight, shooting-wise. Yep. Yeah, just, she came into the game, as we mentioned, 12 points a game. So far, she's got the uh, goose egg up there. So I was gonna need her to put some into the hole. Oops. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Offensive? You mean that's on me? Any <laughs> file with her third fall? Yeah, and unfortunately, that's going to be her third. Oh, that just can't happen. Wide open. Lots of uh, shot is no good. And Wyman comes away with the loose ball. Marver's rainbow shot from the wing is no good. Schmidt has it. Plotz uh, has fallen on the way to the basket. Just like the game started, Marty Sells defense struggling a little bit out of the gate. Got to be a little quicker to the spots. Cut those, those driving lanes open. We mentioned it earlier today, way back when the game started, North had so many baskets and shot attempts right here in the paint like Dahlman can do. Dahlman drives it to the basket for two. Averaging 13 and a half. She's got 10 already. And a nice uh, game so far. Uh, got shot rims out. Oh, they're going to call a travel anyway on Emily Bridges. 
I was going to say just <laughs> another thing that uh, it's, it's tough when you're not a very good team and then when you don't get in any breaks, it uh, makes it doubly bad. Plots open from three ball land. Shot off the rim is no good. Step through and a shot is up and in by Kylie Gurak. Good play there by Kylie. Oh, a in and outer wow. by Mar Barber. I'm gonna get a travel. Another timeout by South Chris, a full timeout with the score. 44 to 18, 16.09 left in the game. We're gonna take a short break and be right back. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise and be the hero that I've always wanted to be. I promise the guys in the truck next time we'll go to a long break instead of always a short break. <laughs> Slow start for South out of the gates again. Marty 0 for 4. I thought it was a quick start for North though. Yep, they're 2 for 4. Still can't make their threes, though. They're two of 13 now. Hey, did you see? I'm sure you watched the game last week when the Badgers lost to Purdue. Yes. Did you see what happened to them in their next game? They lost by five to Minnesota. Oh, yeah. But I'm talking, I'm talking, on related the to the three ball yeah. in that game, uh, the Badgers couldn't make anything from three that. No. I think they were two for 14. No, and they actually, in the paint, had more points than Purdue, who's just... Gigantic. Yeah, that Haas kid, holy cow. Uh, Swan again, probably, he could be player of the year. He's a stud. Oh, yeah, easily. I mean, another turnover. But it just, playing on the road, Marty, is so tough. It's just so tough to win on the road. Anytime yeah. you can get a win on the road. And I expected a little better ball game out of Ohio State the other night. They didn't look very good. No. Of course, the Badgers looked very good that night. Yeah. My son Tommy was there and he said it was a load from the get go and it was. Quick start by uh, another turnover on North. They, they're up to nine. That's kind of stuff Coach Spielman wants probably the girls to finish out well. You know, good. One of the things I don't like to see is when you can't pivot without traveling. That's what we had on that call. And Dolman's had a couple where she's uh, had the ball and then wanted to dribble to the basket and couldn't get the ball down in time. Kept taking a step first. Shot from the corner is no good. Nice rebound that time by Girock. The shot was missed by Beanie. I'll tell you something about that pivoting and stuff, Marty. Good pass by Dahlman, but Plotz couldn't finish it underneath the hoop. Little things, Chris, right? Yep, yep. I was just thinking, Marty, when am I was, uh, there's another turnover. I'll mention it when we have a break. Oops. Scheringer gets it. When I was coaching basketball one year, we had a group of kids that came in after being in eighth grade as freshmen and things like that. And one thing, well, here's a replay and a shove. One thing that kids always mention, yeah, my coach last year, we had all these great plays. We had 20, 30, 40, we had all these plays, all these names. Then you watch the kids, they can't shoot, they can't dribble. <laughs> They're not great passers, but they had a lot of good plays. <laughs> all you Which, gotta do is be able to run them. If you ever wanna watch a good movie, watch Coach Carter. They didn't let those kids shoot. They had one play. <laughs> you know, it's just goes, you know, probably a little exaggerated. Dolman with another basket. But, I was uh, watching the uh, Sheboygan North basketball, the Tom Desitel years, and uh, Billy Free relates the story when he was on one of those early teams, and he said, heck, the first two weeks of practice, we didn't even touch a basketball. It was all 
uh, conditioning. That might have been a little bit of an exaggeration, right, but, but you get the idea. Yep. There's that idea of getting caught in the corner, Chris. You mentioned that. Coming out of the halftime, get it in the middle where you can pass the ball. Yep. Kircher in the ball game. I think you made a good point. If you can pass, you can dribble, you can play a little defense, your coaches are going to get you on the floor. It's not all about the scores. Schmidt, no good. But she gets her own rebound and nice feed inside to Dahlman, who gets tripped and rolls out of bounds. You know, I, uh, I had a kid one year at Chilton. I mean, he could hardly walk and chew gum at the same time. And he was a nice kid, don't get me wrong, but he, he wasn't a basketball player. But he had one half in one of our games. He caught every ball, and whenever he passed it, it went to a teammate. And, I mean, he was awesome. You know, I don't think he scored any points. He got some rebounds for us. He's a big kid, but... Uh, well, I know we got the boys game coming up, and kids like Jared Splitgerber for South and Ethan Sanales for North are two of those kids that do all the little things but may not lead their teams in scoring. Right. But they're the ones that take care of the ball. They can really, you know, defend. Uh, good passers. You know, if you look, uh, talking about the Badgers, I think, I think Showalter is that kind of kid yep. for them. He does the little things. Yep. Walk on. I like what the uh, guard said about him uh, a while back. He said, you never have to worry about hustle when he's on the floor. Yep. South comes away with it. Good lead feed. Bridges' yes. shot is up and in. Or filed, pardon me. Breaks a string, Marty. It went uh, almost five minutes without a basket. That's another turnover. Coach Spielman not happy about that. And gonna get Shedder in the game. Uh, from the end of the first half to that basket right there was a 14-point run for North. It's been a while, 46 to 20. It's all struggling. Dahlman with another steal. And she gets whacked on the arm. That's dangerous. File picking up the foul. It's going to be her fourth. I'm sure uh, Coach Spielman is just saying let's uh, maybe that should be uh, yep. intentional. He's, uh, don't need my best player to be uh, around and down for Kira Dolman. Kira with what did you say she's averaging? 12 something. Kara Dahlman, 13-5. 13-5, she's at 13 right now. She's fourth in the league in scoring. Lopez to Gee in the ball game. She had a nice yeah, she spark had a, there at the end of the first half. Four quick points those couple of minutes she played. They look pretty good right now. Uh, Chris, they're passing yep. and catching the ball and dribbling it. So that was not a good pass. They just mm -hmm. dribbled to make that pass a little bit closer. You might call that a header. <laughs> Another shot that just wouldn't go down for uh, the Lady Red Wings. Step into the shot by uh, Luma, and her shot rolls off. Oh, getting tied up inside was Allison Shedder. She got in kind of a bad spot there. Same situation also as the first half, Marty, if you look at the fouls. Five against South, zero against North. 
think it was like six to zero to start the uh, first yeah. half. It's not one thing, it's another. Nice pass, gotta catch yeah, that. Yeah, gotta catch that one. There's a perfect example of what we've been talking about, Claire Binder. Yep. Had a chance for an easy two points and couldn't catch the ball. Her dad played over here at South, was a very good basketball player. I saw mom come in the building. Mom's in the house. Of course, Scrapper was a principal, long time principal here. Oh, no, that was the dad. Nope. Tom Binder. That's Grandpa. Yeah. Grandpa to Claire. Okay. Long, what is that? Wilson, I know. And Shot is no. Dalman with another board. Chris, don't miss that one. I defer to you. <laughs> Opie for two. He's had a good game. Opie with 10. 12 points. Look at that replay. Nice. Ball control, put it up off the glass and in. 30 second timeout. Timeout by South, Chris. I've got him for five timeouts. I think that might be it. I think he gets six. I, I think you told me it was six. I the talked change. to one of the officials and. Uh, I think it's six now. I thought it was five too, but. Dan Diesing actually I talked to after he refereed a, a JV game that night. We were here to do the boys. And uh, I don't think you know what you're talking about. I think it's five. Okay. <laughs> I don't know for sure. 26% shooting now for uh, South. Is that up? <laughs> no. Oh. oh, it was 29. When are you going to start doing that figuring in your head? <laughs> Ain't a lot. You're just supposed to know. Don't you know your math facts? Uh, I do, sort of. 41% shooting for North, so they're down slightly as well. Beanie with an offensive foul, and that goes as another turnover. Chris is getting the abacus out, trying to figure <laughs> out how many turnovers South has. South and a man-to-man. -man. Shedder had it uh, stripped. She gets herself in situations where she can't do anything with the ball. Well, uh, nobody moved, Marty. There, I was looking at who she, what she's supposed to do. There's Shoot it! <laughs> Shoot it if nobody's going to move. I'll show you. <laughs> like somebody's got to move a little bit here. Marver again couldn't get it. Dalman with another rebound and she's leading the break and a great pass. Opie couldn't oh. get it to go, however. Marver coming right back. Gets away with a carry. And we get another layup attempt by North. No good. good hustle. Opie hustling down for the easy two. Kircher missed the first layup, but Opie was right there to clean up. Shedder's going to pick up that foul. Come on, Allison. Better than that. Look at that. Nice lip. Good replay, guys. That looks like an Eric replay, not a Scott replay. Friendly bounce for Mervar, and she gets her first point of the ball game. Hey, and a girl. They get two. Struggling from the floor. Gotta keep shooting. Right, Marty? Yep, exactly. That's your area of expertise. That and left-handed layups. <laughs> a good bounce pass. That's a good skip. Hopi. Nice. To Shedder. Good passing, Marty. Yeah, very good. Shedder with the left-handed shot, but she couldn't get it to go. Nice lead feed. But the shot is no good by uh, Barrington. And see who Mar Marver. 
Ooh, four quick points for McKenzie, Chris. Yep. First basket for her. She's just one of ten. And you see the battle underneath. Put it up. And in. Another good replay, guys. Our Binder at the line for uh, the Lady Raiders. Oh, Claire. Chance to get your name in the paper and you blew it. <laughs> Opie. Down. And scores. And is fouled. File with her fifth foul. Look at this breakaway. Came in averaging nine points a game. Marty, she's at 16. That average is going up. Fall was on Bridges, apparently. She has four. Hopi with the, completes the three-point play. Shard coming back in. 55-24. Uh, what do you got to get to for a running clock? 40. Oh, 40. I think it's 40, Marty. Football is 35? Football is 35. I think it's 40. Eight forty left in the ball game. Here you see the score, fifty-one to twenty-four. Amanda Theobald coming in. Saw her mom and dad come yep. on, come on in the house. They're here tonight. Mike, longtime coach at uh, Lutheran. Yep. Assisting Todd Decker. Good guy too. His son Hurricane. He could play a little baseball too. Yeah. Matthew, he was a good player for us. Good fielding first baseman, if I remember correctly. He could hit. And a nice kid. And he can very musically inclined, too. That I didn't know. Oh, yeah. They got a band going. Speckled band? Not sure what their name is. They played at Summerfest, I know. Oh, really? Yep. Hopi. Whoops. Good idea, bad pass. Like to have it back. There was a Sherlock Holmes novel or story called The Speckled Band. It wasn't about music. <laughs> yeah, when it's a 30 point lead by one of the squads we get into some silly stories we haven't had a story from the 60s uh, when I was in high school back in the 60s they didn't even have girls sports per se that's too bad yeah they had some uh, activities after school GAA girls athletic association and uh, I can think of two kids from my class that were outstanding athletes uh, Kathy Adamovich a holy namer was a really good tennis player. And uh, Barb Schutte, I think, is in the Sheboygan Softball Hall of Fame. Good player. And I think both those girls would have been uh, outstanding high school athletes had, the had they had the opportunity. Now I'm trying to think here. Theobald with this point. Mary Del Ripple, pretty involved in starting stuff around here. Oh, yeah. Chris she was Fritz part from of it. South. Was yep. she the... Uh, I know she coached uh, girls track for a long time. I don't know if she was one of but uh, her and Dalrymple were two. Uh, she was on the north side. Uh, names for girls sports in Sheboygan for sure. So we got Amanda Theobald's going to get her name in the paper. Bango. Three ball Finally. by Beanie.
All the way up to 27. They missed their first seven, but got that one. Wide Watts open. with a drive down the lane. She has 12. Travel. Oh, yeah. My mom There's told me the they're going to be nights Bam. like this, too. Nice, nice three ball. It always looks pretty when they go yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> you can even tell on the release that would look good. Bender Jerry. trying to get position inside, working hard. Almost stolen away, but keeping the ball for North was Nicole Lang. And it's a turnover now. 6.45 left in the ball game. Bridges had it on top. A lot of reaching. A lot of reaching. Got the double screen. Oh, and they left her wide open and Bam. nailing another one was Beanie. Where was that? That's what Coach is Bingham saying earlier. <laughs> Eric Spielman saying, yeah, where was the defense is right. No basket. Oh, boy. They're going to get file, and that's going to be it. Yep. She's a little slow getting up, Marty. Yeah, Look at that three. Bam. Oh, good. nice arch. And you're right, it was on file, and that is her fifth. Finished with six points tonight. Now slatter for four rebounds, Marty. Cuba Nita Lopez Tegui in the ball game. So you're not down at Cubs Fest this weekend, huh? In Chicago? Uh, Probably couldn't, couldn't everybody and their neighbor probably Except the Horsens, they aren't down there, that's why I didn't go. Well, the, probably everybody and their brother is all of a sudden now going to this event now that they, they win it. All I got you, all my Cubs. All you loyal people who. I got all my Cub t-shirts lined up ready to go for tennis, Chris, every day of the week. <laughs> I wonder if Terry Berkovitz <laughs> is down there too. He used to go down there quite a bit, but. I don't think, do you, I don't, do you think, I don't know. Oh, and if he goes anywhere. Early, that was years ago. I know, I'm just saying when you guys who are loyal fans, you know, should be rewarded. Right. Now these Jeez. people, now they're winners. I heard the biggest talk is who's going to lead off for that team because they got. Schwarber. Yeah, 12 hitters. <laughs> yeah. John Jay, maybe. No, I, Schwarber. Madden so, said he was thinking about. He, yeah, well, he didn't know. think that'd be a bad idea to have Schwarber. There's By the way, he's with I'm his four at bats last year, he's getting a card in Stratomatic. <laughs> but he got the worst rating you can get for the outfield. He's a five. And I think he's got a plus arm too, so he's gonna be pretty brutal in the outfield. Good dump to oh you gotta catch it. It's a basket there. Pinder Pinder had the basket before she had the ball. Um yeah, I was listening to some Chicago radio. They said that's the biggest concern who, who could lead off. They said with Schwarber and Bryant and Rizzo before you even got to your seats, they could have three runs on the board. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? The way those three guys can hit. Marber's shot is no good. Plots with a nice Just rebound. Can't get it going. Whoa! Man. Just cannot put the ball in the hoop tonight. Tough, Another. tough, tough, tough night for uh, McKenzie. Seven rebounds now for uh, Potts as well. Drive to the hoop and the shot. The scoop shot is up and no good by Emily Bridges, but she'll go to the line to shoot a pair. So who do you think should bat lead off? Me? Yeah. Well, I mean you. I mean, who do you think should bat lead off for the Cubs? Zobrist. Oh. 
He likes to draw some walks. Schwarber at not four hole. So, oh, it's a it's a full timeout, guys. Let's take a long break this time. <laughs> Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Back at South back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, North on top, big, 59 to 31. And uh, hey, I know who's going to lead off for North though this year. Who's that? Dylan Lindau. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad choice. Get him as many at bats as you can. That's right. That's one thing that hasn't changed. We know that at North High School is going to be leading. So off. is Nice and the Witter going to bat near the top no, of the order? No, they'll be up there. Yep. We got uh, Ben Miller and Weston Year. Mula. Yeah. Get him in. Was he hurt last year? Ben, yeah, he, from the football season, so he'll be back. And Sal Parra and Eric Johnson, who's a goalie for the hockey team, plays. Uh, Maybe we can get uh, Scott to do some baseball this year. I know the we haven't done many baseball games over the last couple of years. I'd like to get a couple in there. You guys have your schedules done already, right? Yep. Ooh, nice steal that time by Barrington. Layup. Is good and she's fouled. Nice layup. Izzy. Oh, that's the one thing in North that I'm sure if we number five or Lindau's going to bat first, and then the rest of them will <laughs> still figure it out. After Is uh this, after that? Uh, what's the kid? The lefty, the big guy. Oh yeah, Jackson Potter. Jackson. He's, Is he going to be? He's healthy and ready to roll. I know he was hurt most of last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, year? he had a. You know, like a growth thing, Marty, which was kind of a bummer. Not really an injury, but more of a some growth spur thing kind of in it. Um, okay. So maybe all right. Good battles, good battles. Got to finish, ladies. Kylie with a couple misses, but she gets a chance at the free throw line. Here comes uh, Claire back in as well. And Ashley Wyman. Ashley Wyman had uh, eight rebounds in the first half, but I only got her for just one here in the second. Now, I'm not perfect on that, but. Uh, yeah, you're pretty close to perfect. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, I you tell me that. <laughs> nine, just... nine rebounds is still a pretty good night, though. Oh, Marty. man. That's awesome. Kylie at the line, Girak made her first. She has eight points. Yep, averaging five. Give her nine. Yep. Five minutes. 61 to 35. Good defense. Look at those hands and that good positioning there. And Katie, or Kylie, excuse me. Lopez to Giwa, able to gather it in, but uh, not able to do too much with it. Good passing by South. They got a nice shot, but again, uh, they just can't get it to go in. Bender with the rebound. Another steal by Barrington. Right to the rack. And scores. She's fired up. So are we. That was a great play. There's the senior. Nice shot of her. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Yeah, that's right. That was a nice play. Make your free throw this time. <laughs> long. You can just tell that was long, Marty. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You'd have made it if it would have been a little longer. Oh, I don't know if I want to bring Dolman back in here. This is. Yeah, what's the point? Well, my, and it's just injuries and yeah. what if you step on somebody's foot and... That was one thing nice about that Badger blowout when a lot of kids played a lot of minutes. And uh, when was the last time uh, Brevin Pritzel played the yeah. first half? Of course, a former De Pere player, player, player played in our league. Yeah, we covered him. 
He could make free throws. He could shoot. Wasn't always a big fan of his attitude, though, but I, uh, uh, was, I, I like the way I talked to somebody he from De Pere, and they heard about it, too. And they weren't a basketball fan, but they just heard, you know, talk in the community. But uh, some of I, that you grow out of. You know, yep. you grow up and uh, yep. learn what it's I like on the other side. Boy, could he make free throws and good, smooth shooter. I hope he does well in Madison. Wasn't that at North? He had over 40 points that night? Yeah, it could have been. I think you're right. I think he did. Yep. And we're like, crying out loud, they're up by 20. Why is he still in there? Wow, and boy, and when you'd foul him, too, I mean, he was just, just automatic. And that's one thing the Badgers need is to make some free throws. Oh, God. I think they were 33, 5 for 15 the other night. In the ball game for Liz Valdez in the game for the first time. Number 11, right? Number 11. Just a junior for South. Janita Luma in the ball game also. Barrington at the line again. <laughs> wow. Here comes Dahlman. Spot up shot, no, no. good. Good try. That three-pointer was by Mula. Marlena Miller, so you get that right. Scott doesn't want any phone calls on Monday. Of course, he wouldn't mind them on Monday. I think it's uh, Martin Luther King yeah. Day. He probably is off. Almond with their 10th rebound of the night. Hey, by the way, do you guys have school? We do not. What about the rest of the district? Are they They're up? off, yep. So Monday's a day off. Yep, and Friday's just teacher day because of So only records. a three-day week? Yep. Well, we have a teacher day. We have to go. Okay. On Friday. Oh. You I'll, go do with my, I'll do all my prep work for the Lutheran oh. Christian game. I thought and you were going to say you are doing Sudoku. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have... Uh, I have 12 classes to do grades for, Marty. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll be a little busy. <laughs> you guys do it on the computer, right? Yep. You got a program? Yep. Uh, we're a uh, everybody's there's a new grade system in the district now. It's called Skyward. Everybody uses it. And uh, you guys use the uh, attendance thing too. Yep. Everybody's on that, and uh, the whole district now <laughs> for. Uh, <laughs> Whenever I do my subbing, I always go to the room next door. <laughs> Give her the names if there's anyone absent. Do you enter this for me? <laughs> Trying Barry. to get down to the paint. <laughs> Trying to get closer to the basket. You were Barrington. talking about those games to keep things interesting? That's what Barrington was doing. She was playing a game against the North Defenders. Yeah, well. Stop hey. me if you can. Yep. I got to score. See if I can score. She's got five points. That's it? Seems like she should have more. Yep. Of course, if she was making her free throws. She had a couple baskets in the... Well, she's two of four shooting, I have her. One, two, three, four, five. This is her Good. sixth free throw. Two of I six. knew that one was in, Marty. Good for her. Good job, Chris. I'm giving you all the credit for her making one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you talked to her that she couldn't. A nice pass inside. Good Shoot ball it up movement. There. Oh. Three balls, no good. And. Uh, Barrington's like, it's not me. Five fouls. Uh. Izzy falls out. Izzy had a nice night. Boy, she did, actually, Chris, she did some really nice things. Yep. They had quick hands, going to the hoop hard. You said here's Claire Binder. Trying sure. to get her first points on the board. Get there. Yes. Yep. Name in a book. Name in a press box. In the Sheboygan Press. In for North, number 21, Allison Shetter. Let's make it two in a row, Claire. Show them where you live. Yes. Ooh, that looked good. That was good form and everything on that one. Nothing wrong with that. 2.20 left in the ball game. Starting to drag a little bit now, Chris. Yep. How many free throws? 
Can't make that pass, though. So. We'll get it right Ooh. back. Shot by Valdez is no good, but she'll be at the line to shoot some free throws. Well, it's starting to fill in a little bit, Marty, but I'll tell you what, there's a lot of open seats yet here tonight. North side, a lot on the south side, Marty. Emma Clayson in the ball game. Her first action, there's a great shot of Liz, and she puts them both in. South with 40 points now. Problem is, North has 63. Opie kicking it out to Shedder. Her shot is up and in. That's pretty. Allison Shedder looked pretty sweet on that move. And uh, trying to fight oh, no, through no, the no, crowd no, 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 was no, 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 Miller. No. She picks up the foul. It was some. No, whatever. <laughs> There's a reason the ball went across or banged across yeah. there. Oh, really? Well, I think, to, I mean, there's a reason. I, it was I thought that was deflected. a foul on North. No, over and back they called. Okay. Shedder. Get in, oh, half a hook. You know, that's the Last. second shot she's taken with her left hand. The basket she made was with her right hand. That's a... Uh, but she's going left, Marty, you like that. Yeah, no, no, I understand, but, I mean, how many times do you see that? Kids shooting with either hand. Now there all of a sudden seems to be a big flock of people coming in, Marty. I don't know if they were holding them back or... Yeah, they didn't want him to get on the floor. Is this Claire Binder on the line again? Yep. She looks smooth the last two. Yeah, not See? A good, not, a good, <laughs> not a good release that time. Why don't you just watch the game, Chris? Okay, you do pretty good at that. And stop talking about Claire's form. That was a lot better. <laughs> Except it didn't go in. Hey, oh, oh Valdez <laughs> around and out. That's not fair. 120. Shatter. Oh, couldn't get it, but she is fouled. How did that ball not go in down here, Marty? Wow. It was more than halfway down. Well, she has two points, so. Right. At least she's gonna be shut out. A lot of free throws, Marty. Yep. Way too many. Remember now you're doing you're doing uh, interviews yep. regardless. Yep. I'm ready. Good. Couple more free throws by Allison Shedder. Allison with four points tonight. Now there's a kid on the floor. I guess not, no. Whoops. Yeah, there's number 23. We haven't a name for that uh, young lady, and uh, we apologize for that. Maybe I got it here. Horn. We'll call her Beverly. Bev Horn. I don't know if that's right or not. If that's her last name, Horn. What do you want? Caroline? Chris is leaving me to uh, dig my own hole. 48 seconds left, 67 to 40. Binder trying to get it inside, but can't. And I think she's gonna get tagged with a foul. Going to the line to shoot free throws is uh, Miss Kiefer. 
Another uh, Kelly Kiefer. Kelly, make a free throw. You're going to get your name in the paper. A lot of free throws here in this second half. And, uh, that's part of the reason why it's taken a little longer. Stay, stay tuned because after this ball game, we'll have the boys be doing that game. I'm sure it's going to be closer. South has been playing quite well recently on the boys' side. Ball is tipped away, 24 seconds left. Warren, bango. Nice shot there. South cutting into that north lead. Shot is no good. It's gonna go right back to South High. See if the Lady Red Wings can get a shot off. There's six seconds left, hustle it up. Crank it, yes sir. Oh, wouldn't go. And that's our first ball game. Sheboygan North 67, Sheboygan South 43. Uh, stay tuned because Chris will get some of the girls from the uh, winning North squad and uh, do an interview with them and then uh, we'll do our opening for the second ball game. What would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grads. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. You make me wear my bike helmet. Taught me never to run scissors. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seat. And to follow the swimming rules. You're always looking out for me and trying to keep me safe. So why do you keep a little gun in your drawer? Here in the garage. Closet, shoebox, under the bed. Where anyone can get to it. How safe is that? How safe is that? How safe is that? You asked them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm, not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. She doesn't really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. As long as anyone there? <gasps> wow. Our standards, really 
Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy. I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah. I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing. But if this was a super important text, maybe you have to know that. You texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi Fi here. Glorious Lady Raiders, South Week this week. Is that any different than any week? A little, yeah. We prepare, we have a lot more focus. Well, not a lot more, but just more focus throughout the week. It's a different atmosphere, so we have to be ready for all the crowd and everything. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've done this for a few years and like that. Do you, do you enjoy these games or stuff? you like playing in front of the big house? Yeah, definitely. It's an awesome atmosphere to play in. Now, you guys have kind of had an up and down season this year, you know. More ups and downs, which is good. Yeah. You know, just trying to stay the course, as Coach Fieldman. Sorry, I didn't hear. No, I was just going to say, you guys just trying to stay the course and get better every week this year? Yeah, for sure. Every week, every practice is the focus is to be better than the practice before. Yeah. Now, personally for you, what has your experience been with these South games over the last couple of years? Um, the crowd is so awesome. It's really fun to play with a ton of students and a ton of parents here. It's just so much energy. It's unlike any other game we play. Well, congratulations. You're going to catch it coming here. Well, you guys got a victory tonight. You got off to a really fast start. Is that kind of what Coach Mealman wanted you guys to do tonight? Or what was the focus for you guys when you got started tonight? Well, we were going to get it from the beginning off of defense, and that was going to transition in our offense, which happened. Yeah, you guys started off fast. I think it was 22 to 2. You did create turnovers and things. They kind of made it to run in the first half, but, you know, your defense did lead into a lot of easy baskets for you guys. You know, you guys got a lot of easy baskets because of your defense. Yeah, it was, that was just his game plan, was to get it off the defense. And that's what happened. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned before, you guys have kind of had an up and down season, more ups and downs and things like that. How's the focus of the team been this year? I think we're getting there. Um, we're like in the middle of our conference, which we just have to <laughs> yeah, click know, and yeah, and then we could be that team that surprises everyone. Now, you've been in a bunch of these games before. What is your impressions? Or what is going to be some of your lasting things about these North-South games, playing in front of these big houses and, and all this stuff like that? Oh, I'm going to miss it because it's, no it's like everyone comes. It's going to be fun. It was fun. It's just fun to play around all these people. Well, you've, had, you've worked very hard. You're having a really good season. I mean, it's all kind of worth it, isn't it? I mean, you put in a lot of time. I mean, I mean you you lead the league in rebounding, steals, blocks. Uh, they're up there in scoring. It's a lot of hard work, isn't it? Yeah, I just got to give a shout-out to my coaches for just <laughs> giving me the green light to go do play. Well, congratulations, ladies. And good luck with the rest of the season. We're going to send it back to Marty. All right, Chris, good job on the interviews. Good job, girls. Uh, leading scorer for North was Meredith Opie off the bench. She had 16 points. Kiara Dahlman, you just saw her there with uh, Chris. She had 14 points. And uh, Mariah Plotz finished uh, third in scoring for North with 13 points. For uh, South, they were led by uh, Ashley Wyman. She had eight points in the first half and finished with eight points. Chipping in with six each was Isabel Barrington and Katie Banny. Banny's six came on two three-pointers uh, late in the uh, second half. With the win, North moves to a nine and four overall, five and four in conference. South drops to one and 11, 0 oh and eight in conference. Again, uh, Sheboygan North Lady Raiders a winner, 67-43. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Chris and I will do our opening for uh, this second ball game. 